Kimpis. Uh, today I'm gonna show you a little nice trick on how to debug uh, exotic environments like uh, real mode, 16-bit real mode execution or, or exotic platforms like uh, ARM or Spark and, or these kind of things. And uh, I'm gonna show this with uh, QEMU emulator and uh, in QEMU uh, I have here running the recent case of uh, Petia ransomware I've installed in, in, in a QEMU image and uh, it runs here nicely waiting for input we'll show it now run it again with uh, special uh, arguments and this will actually start QEMU image uh, with GDP stop listening on, on default port 1234 <coughs> and this will then actually listen to uh, the, the standard GDP protocol so I can for example connect with the GDP command command line application here like a, and make it like this uh, what is ah stupid computers they don't understand sometimes what I want yeah stupid computers so, so now I can run it uh, press any key now it's listening to my input I can press ctrl c and now I can see the registers and stuff like this so this is really really nice I mean we all love GDP of course because it makes makes us look so smart but if you really want to make make this happen today and not like next week this is most likely not the right tool for you so uh, let's try a bit more powerful tool here I'll make it a bit smaller so we can see okay so uh so what we want to do here is to attach to remote GDP debugger localhost 1234 and uh, let's put some options here specific options we need to put this otherwise won't understand that we are talking to real mode in this case uh, yeah well that ID zero because there, there are no really processes running there at this moment so Petia kind of ha have its has its own kernel, so it's process doesn't make any sense here. We'll arrange this a bit. Okay, and then there's one more thing we need to do. Uh, we need to manually make a <coughs> memory region here because otherwise it won't understand it's 16 bit data. Start at zero. Let's put it like this. Okay. So now basically we can we can run it again. And, uh, okay. So uh, let's put a message here, something incorrect key, please try again. So let's suspend and see what's going on there. So now we can step step the code with regular single stepping. This looks like a bias code, so it's not not really interesting. Actually, 
something wrong with this. Let's see the region. Yeah, it needs to be 16 bit. Let's try again. Ha, ah, now now it looks better. Yeah. I read that, that actually, that's interesting. So I believe this is the uh, user code that is running here, not the BIOS. Ha! Huh. Keyboard, read keyboard. That looks really, we are now close. So let's put breakpoint here, step 2, and let it run. So now it's running. I will press key A and so we should see in the AL now 61. That's right. Let's me let's put it another key. If I press B we should see 62 there. That's what we got. Okay, so thanks for watching. This is a very nice technique and it's not only for real mode BIOS code. You can basically run anything that runs on QEMU and is supported by the IDA like any platform CPU combination that these guys can run and they just use the GDP as a, as a kind of a protocol for talking to each other. Okay, thanks.